The FiberTac Speed Bridge is a knotless double row rotator cuff repair technique that provides improved footprint contact and compression compared to traditional techniques. This procedure is completed with 2.6 FiberTac RC soft anchors on the medial row and secured laterally with trusted swivel lock anchors. Using a mallet, insert and advance the 2.6 FiberTac RC anchor into bone. If preferred, a guide can be used to aid in anchor insertion. Stop at the insertion zone laser line. If hard bone is encountered, use a punch or drill through a guide to create a socket to aid in anchor insertion. Once the anchor is fully inserted, remove the inserter. Grasp all limbs of the sutures and pull slightly to set the anchor. Repeat these steps for anchor insertion for the middle and posterior anchors. These anchors are preloaded with a suture tape that can be incorporated into the repair or removed if not needed. To remove the sliding suture tape, grab one end and unload the suture from the anchor. Repeat this step for the other anchors. Any bone preparation, such as a power pick or burr, should take place lateral to anchor insertion site for the medial row. Using a fiber tape retriever from the lateral portal, retrieve the fiber tape from the posterior anchor. Load the joined fiber tape tail from this anchor into a scorpion suture passer and pass the tail of the fiber tape through the rotator cuff, passing both fiber tape limbs at once. Once passed through the cuff, retrieve the fiber tapes from the percutaneous portal used for anchor insertion. Repeat these steps to pass the other sets of fiber tape with a scorpion suture passer. Cut the joined fiber tape tail to separate the limbs for lateral fixation. Retrieve one limb of fiber tape from each medial row anchor through the lateral portal. Use a punch to prepare a bone socket for the lateral row lateral to the edge of the tuberosity. Load the fiber tapes through the eyelet of the swivel lock. Bring the eyelet to the edge of the bone socket. With the eyelet above the bone socket, remove slack from each fiber tape individually. With all slack removed, Advance the eyelet of the swivel lock into the bone socket. Hold the thumb pad and rotate the driver handle to advance the swivel lock suture anchor until it is flush with the bone. Remove the fiber wire tip retention suture from the swivel lock anchor. Cut the fiber tape suture tails. Repeat these steps for the second lateral row anchor. This completes the FiberTac speed bridge, which enhances footprint to bone contact, providing improved rotator cuff footprint contact compared to traditional techniques.